up guys welcome to my channel today i'm going to be doing a gumbo i'm not the best at it but i always like to practice it's something i used to always watch my grandma and my fa father not father <laughs> okay i'm back i went to jamaica real quick to get myself together now <laughs> in comment will get a heart from me yours truly randomly yours today we're just going to be focusing on food you know me i like to just do whatever so i felt like eating gumbo today and it's happening happy holidays to everyone and let's get started so the first thing you really want to do is just make sure that you have a fat and a flour so my fat choice today for my roux is going to be the vegetable oil any items that you see in this video is not sponsored However, if anyone feels like sponsoring, please don't hesitate to do it. <laughs> the cameraman in the back is yours truly in the background. Mad example. Boom shakalaka, here he is. And let's get to it. So pretty much what I'm going to do is that you want pretty much equal parts. I don't know. I just like to taste things and go from there. I'm going to start my oven. And also I'm a certified tester. <laughs> I'm gonna get some water. I already know there's gonna be some comments like, um, what is she doing? Why is she doing it like that? Listen here, I just like to have fun. No, listen to anybody's orders when it comes to being unique. It comes out fine. It just. There's no recipe for greatness. No, it isn't. I know you're gonna be like, well, Jen, what's the point? What is the entire point of you showing us how to do a roux? I just wanna show you what I'm doing. I don't know, just chill, okay? Just you wanna help you be successful. That's probably about a cup I just used. Okay, about half a cup. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna get my handy dandy tools. And I'm just gonna whisk. So what, like on the real, what you really want to see is consistency in the color. You want to make sure that flour is broke down real nice. And once you're actually finished doing this, it should smell like peanuts and look like brown gravy. That's exactly what you want to go for, okay? I might have done this backwards. It's gonna be okay. I think I was actually supposed to brown the gravy. I am not the 100% <laughs> best, but we're gonna get there, right? Okay, sponsors, help me out, sponsors. <laughs> and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you can get notifications for whenever we record. Because we might be recording once a week or two times a week. Yes. Yeah. Oh. You good? Yeah, I'm just wondering. I think I was actually supposed to brown it. Look, we're going to work this out together. The most important part of your gumbo that I remember from my daddy was your roux. If your roux is not right, then you ain't going to taste no greatness. It's not going to taste. It's going to taste like. It's going to taste wrong. <laughs> So it's okay if you have to start over. But it's not a good one when it's applied. Yeah. So mistakes happen. I honestly think I was supposed to brown this. Come on, comments. I know y'all just going to town. Let's make sure we are keeping this family friendly, okay? Because I will delete your comment and I'll tell on you. I will. <laughs> Okay, let's get a closer look at this so my loyals can actually see what's going on. It's thickening up, but it ain't brown. You might need to have, you might have to restart. Yeah, I think I am. We're going to just take a quick break after these commercials and I'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. So that first video of mine was a uh, fail. <laughs> I had to sit back and just think and remember what did my dad do. And I think what I was doing was starting a gravy. And when I tried to do a gravy, I can't do it. Anywho, I'm 
back on track. So what you want to do is get your fire or your oven top going and get your pan of choice hot. We're going to start with our fat. I'm using vegetable oil. Again, all products being used in this video is not sponsored. If anyone feels the necessity, get my words out. Eat your breakfast in the morning so you can talk in the afternoon. <laughs> If you feel necessary to sponsor me, please do, because, like, help. Okay. You want to get that oil hot. So, I'm going to just speed up the video or either pause really quick so this can get hot. And when you get back, you'll see it hot. What's up, guys? While we're waiting for the oil to warm up, I'm just going to go ahead and start chopping my ingredients. So, I love unduly sausage. Most people don't like it. But that's my preference. You can use any type of sausage that you want to use in your gumbo. I like unduly because of the flavor. It reminds me of so many different flavors. Growing up in Miami, you get so many different seasonings and styles of cooking. My dad was a professional chef. So a lot of that hopefully has rubbed off on me. Uh, there's a lot of things that I'm still learning how to do. And then there's a lot of things that I used to be timid of doing that I was scared to do. And then when I do it, as far as cooking, I'm like, what, what? I'm actually good at this. So okay. this channel might be going towards the progression side as we learn how to do more things on YouTube and learn how to edit and get all those different type of programs that huge YouTube production production team does so hopefully we'll get to that point <laughs> yes you know you got to crawl before you walk and if you can't crawl then just scooch across the floor it's okay as you can see i'm just chopping it up again all items that you see in this video have not been sponsored so but that we don't part. take any sponsor <laughs> by chance that is mad examples in the background don't forget to visit his channel like subscribe first comment first like i'll give you a heart and give you a comment on saying good job for being first like and first comment <laughs> yes yes um i hope you can see everything i'm pretty sure you can i'll just check the camera i'm making sure i'm talking nice and loud because we don't have mics yet <laughs> we're getting there family Thank you for being my first loyals to watch this video. And of course, family members will be popping up on this channel, but not so often because we're in the times of being separate. But that doesn't mean we can't hang out with each other, fam each family in the meantime. Okay, well spoken. Well, I just like to try to get everything going for you guys. Usually, I'm put on some jazz music or something but copyrighted youtube always has a copyrighted reason so that's why we're not doing anything i'm just gonna do it like this right now I typically would like music mm -hmm. that's okay i got you guys and i have my cameraman mad examples here so while she's focusing i'll give commentary on what we'll probably do for the future but so I think we're going to go ahead and go back to the oil. Just quick break. Be right back, look, guys. See you in a little bit. So now that our oil is clean, and you'll probably hear some rinsing in the background, but now that our oil is hotter, we'll probably be able to test it with the flour. And if it's too hot, I really don't know the reaction with it. I'm still trying to learn as I go with mom. But this is exactly what you want to see. This is what I remember. You, this is exactly what you want to see, my friend. So I'm just using the whisk at this point because it's going to be much better to get things going. It already smells so good. Yes, it does. Smell like chicken. So I do remember my pops, and his 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 um idea was that if you can't remember, just remember it, it needs to smell like peanuts, <laughs> and it do smell like peanuts when you get it there. But just get it to smell like peanuts and get it that dark chocolate looking brown. And I know probably in a future, like say 2048, you'll probably be able to feel and touch everything <laughs> and smell everything. Who knows? We've been upgrading it to the future with flying cars now. People are working on that production and hoverboards. I saw it on YouTube, there was one channel that had hoverboards just randomly around. 
Okay, guys, so we just have to keep stirring. I know, whew, it's going to be a task, but I'll be right back after these messages. Okay, guys, so I'm still whisking away here with my little magic wand. Shine. Um, what I do is go back and forth between my little magic <laughs> unicorn paddle here. I'm not sure about all the words and verbiage of everything that needs to be said, but um, I go back and forth. Usually those plastic, rubbery, um, silicone spatulas can handle up some good heat. I, I've had this bad boy in some hot chocolate, and I know that temperature read around 500 degrees. While I'm not an expert, I'm very, very positive that your little spongy spatula will handle some heat. So I just go around the pot um, a bit just to make sure I'm catching all of it. See it's turning brown? That's what you want. Oh yeah, that's what you want. And here's a fun fact about silicone. Silicone is a high productive heat holder, so usually it'll hold about 500 feet, um, Fahrenheit per hour. Sometimes it can even hold higher than that if the silicone is dense enough, but it has to be dense so it don't burn away. Or else you're going to be tasting silicone in your gravy. <laughs> That's going to be gross. It's a roux, not a gravy, mad example. This is a I'm roux. Still, <laughs> I'm still trying to learn how to cook, so bear with me. You guys, I'm so excited because at first I started off super backwards. <laughs> I know you guys are laughing so hard. That's fine. I am here to make you laugh, too. But I'm so excited because, listen, if... if if you put your mind to it, you can do it. Seriously. You can do anything that you want to do. You can be anything you want to do and want to be. Okay? And remember to eat your breakfast in the morning so you can talk in the afternoon. Because apparently, I call myself fasting for this meal. Yum, yum. And um, I don't know how to talk. So, yeah. <laughs> We're going to pause and I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, my lovelies. So, look at that. It looks like chocolate milk <laughs> and that's what you want some people like theirs a little bit more darker some people like them lighter it is up to you remember you are in control honey yes yes you are i'm already so ready to eat this and it's just rude be careful of the room some just splashed up on me and i was doing a tap dance over here <laughs> it is dangerously hot so just keep that in mind especially if you have little helpers or big helpers just make sure everyone's safe what i'm going to do and this by the way has been cooking over a medium flame or heat depending on what type of cooking you're doing you can make gumbo out in the wilderness okay if you got a good fire and you stay over this roux you can't leave the roux you just can't leave the roux as long as you stay over the roux and stir 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 stir, stir. You can make a good roux over a nice open flame. And you can make a good gumbo over a nice open flame. So I'm going to turn my heat off. All the way off. And I'm going to transfer the roux into my little red bow there. Isn't it pretty? I love that red. We keep remembering the name at some point. We're forgetting it. But all we say, all we call it is the best pan or <laughs> holder for food ever because it don't stain and it also easily keeps the heat in and I can't really remember the um, name of the type of material but it's something to do with us I know that and it's about um, pottery okay I need those pot holders right there remember to get your pot holders guys even if this is not so hot you still want to just make sure that you're safe in removing anything that can hurt your beautiful hands. I'm just going to pour it in here. Oh my gosh, look at that. That looks great. I need to get my spatula and scrape all that thick root out. So I'm just going to switch hands here and take my spatula. Oh yeah, baby. And just remember, this is our first video, so we might be a little rusty on some things, but bear with us, because as we go on, we get better and we learn. That's the thing about life. The yes. more you do it, the more you learn. Sorry if it was dark. I'm working on 
getting some lighting in here. I'm going to pause. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Then we're back to my ingredients, my solids. So, um, I did cheat <laughs> this time around. I got some gumbo mix. Gumbo mix. Um, but I'm also going to... Oh, I got two bags. I don't know if I need this. The okra and the gumbo mix. So the gumbo mix has okra, corn, celery, onion, sweet, red peppers. Hmm. I am deciding to not use the bakery okra. That way I don't have to chop them up. Okay guys, so now I'm going to be sauteing some chicken. I like to do it that way. That's just my preference. I'm just going to cut up some bits here, add some seasoning, and then put it in the pot. You can cut your chicken however you want to cut it. This is just the way I like to do it. Okay. Once again, no bite. There's no rule for success. Nope, no judgment. Um, some people like big big bits I kind of don't really care how they are but I'm just going to transfer them into a bowl that I can season I just like to get some of the weirdness off to me it's weird so it's happening Boom. <laughs> that should be our motto it's happening <laughs> okay And a good thing about having a camera holder is that you don't always have to have your arms in one place. I'm quiet, guys, because I'm focused. <laughs> Sorry. I'll get better at talking. Okay, so I'm just continuing to cut. I'm just going to pause, and I'll be right back. All right. Okay, guys, we are back. So Mad Examples is going to go ahead and do some of the seasonings. You can seasoning your meat however you want to season your meat. I'm particularly going to be using the Creole, the Obey, a little bit of seasoning salt, fine garlic powder, island spice jerk seasoning. On. And as you can tell, we can do good accents. And then fine onion powder. This is just to start it off. You want to season the chicken. Always make sure you're washing your hands when you're dealing with raw meat and never cross contaminate. So we've already washed our hands to deal with the chicken. We're gonna stir it with a spoon so we don't have to touch the meat. And then even though this is flavored, what's wrong with a little bit more flavor? Mm -hmm. So commence. So what I'm gonna be first using is Tonio's, Tony's. I keep saying Tonio's because I was watching a video earlier. <laughs> but I'm going to use the, if I can get it open, the side where it has the sprinkles for the tiny holes first. And while I'm doing that, that'll help her. If I could get this open. Okay, it's kind of in there, so I'm just opening it up. Yeah, this is the old bay. I just want a lot of pieces. <laughs> now remember, too much is a bad thing. Pass it out the far way. That's the seasoning, so I'm just using a bit of that. Should I put more? Oh, I think that's awesome. Okay, and I'll be asking her things, but it will still probably be coming to you in the comments. So, I'm going to eat. Be eat. careful not to get it in your lungs. <laughs> and this stuff comes out really fine, so it can just explode out or get clumped up. And usually it helps me if I hit the back of it. And it will cost a lot of dust, so I'm going to open up the door. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> All right, we're back. We had to clear our throats there. Put the slice that in there. Okay, and we are transferring the chicken over to my pot. A little bit of grease inside. That's in here. It's going to sear very nicely. And while she puts the bowl back in so she can season the sausages, I'm going to help her by stirring it around. But she'll let me know if I don't, really don't need to stir it in. Yeah. But I just got the measure for her. It's okay if I stir it in. Now what you want to do, guys, is you want to 
mine to just keep stirring it up. And I like mine um, a bit, a little brown. So I'm just going to saute my chicken until it's actually a light brown. And we'll be back. Oh, All right, my lovelies. We're going to use our bowl, transfer those unduly sausages in there. Just making sure I can see it because it's kind of tilted over. Seasoning. I love this stuff. We put it on everything, even eggs. <laughs> like the hot sauce can work in any of this. Be careful of that sodium intake, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. This thing is still being naughty, so I'm just going to do that. But it only depends on the type of surface and open air that you have. So I'm just repeating what you saw on the chicken. Holy cow, it came out fast. <laughs> I'm going to do this close up so it don't splash everywhere. Ooh. Ooh. Even when you're not <laughs> close to it, you still get it. have thought of wearing a gas mask every time I do <laughs> garlic powder and the okay so now we're just going to transfer the sausage into the smaller cast iron black skillet please don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay we're going to do it this way yeah yay she got the longer reach than me so that's why I'm struggling okay I'm going to do the same thing that we're doing with the chicken. The chicken is over there with the top on. Just let it keep sauteing. And we're going to do the same thing with the sausage. Okay, guys. I had some leftover chicken from cutting for the sauteing over here. So I am just going to season this up a bit and use my indoor grill. And I'm going to grill this just to have some extra pieces on the side for a snack. Whatever. And for the indoor grill, it's a five stars because you don't have to get smoked out, but you still get the lines of the grill. So I'm going in with my onion powder. A little bit, if I can, of garlic powder without it exploding out. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the jerk island. And also, Ooh. Here's something I have been thinking about with the onion powder and the garlic yeah. powder. Since it's a lot finer, you should probably put it on top first so all the wet meat can sink it in first. But it'll still spread out, just not as much. And I'm just blotting it. Like if you put on a stick, <laughs> blot it on there. And I'm just doing that little technique. Technique. <laughs> Shout out to Spongebob. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to TV show. <laughs> Just putting a bit more. <clears throat> Typically I would have marinated this overnight. But this is just a spur of the moment type of thing. So I am doing it this way. Yum yum. Just doing my thing. You do your thing. Hey. Whatever tastes great and on your taste buds and on your palate. Do it. And for the comment section, put great, great job, great job, Jen, for your first video. Because she hasn't been stu stuttering or just confusing what to do. <laughs> she was a little confused on what to do in the beginning, but that's because she really is not that good at making gumbo. But this, this is a family channel, so as we go through, family will help. I'm not going to let this go for that. Five minutes or so. We gotta get a little bit of marinade up in there. Up in there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Nickelodeon. Yep. I'm weird. Uh, and we love watching Nickelodeon. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to make. Okay, I was looking at something there. Just trying to make comments here. My commentary. All right, back to the task at hand. Yum, yum, yum. Look at that. Doesn't it look nice? It looks nice to me. It looks good. I'm using two different spoons. 
the other one's over there this one's purposely a different look from the wood spoon so i would not cross contaminate because we don't want to stick tummies look at that root back there still looking like some gravy at this point now keep in mind you might see your root starting to separate it is okay if it starts to separate that's just the fat rising to the top and the solid sticking to the bottom it will be just fine it will still come out fine i would put that in the refrigerator if i wasn't going to use it right away but i decided to keep it out this time i've done that before but typically i would put it in a, a pot something like this or a container whatever you have laying around cover it and put it in the frigidaire okay and we are so excited to start this new channel. And you know, I always think you have a couple of names because, well, you got to have a name for your channel instead of just randomly having a channel. So we was thinking about food examples, and then we also thought about sweet examples, and then we thought about combining those two. But we'll we let might you just know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or if you have, if you guys have your own ideas. Put them in a comment section, but so far, we'll probably be sticking with sweet examples because there will be a lot of sweets, and when you hear my words, a lot, we love sweets, but we also like keeping it healthy. I'm just chopping some of the pit, the pieces of the chicken. To me, in my eyes, they were a little thick. However you want, you can put a whole piece in your gumbo, whatever you like. I just thought, hmm, let me cut that down some. Also, it's getting tender, which is a good sign. That's what I want. I'm going to use this juice that's coming off of it. Yeah, you can see it in the camera. I'm going to use that as secret weapon. <laughs> I'm just going to put it in the camera. <laughs> I forgot to get some chicken stock, so I'm just going to kind of make mine. After I take this chicken out. I'm just going to kind of make a little something something because I don't feel like going back to the store. That's a whole nother video within itself. Yes. Store run! <laughs> I will start writing my items down instead of freestyling, standing in the middle of the store. Oh, you asked what's my favorite stores? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I love to go to Sam's Club because things are in bulk. I love Publix so to me they have the best produce. And then I like supermarkets too, but there's a Publix right up the street from us, and I love going there. It's really simple, easy, in and out. You can find ideas. They sometimes are cooking up things right now. They're not because of the situation at hand with the world, but there's still recipes if you're kind of lost. The bakery always looks great. Fresh produce all the time. So I just like going to Publix, plus their BOGO sales are amazing. And then Target is the next one for me because... I like the color scheme, and I also like that they have um, restaurants inside, like Starbucks. Starbucks. I get a latte from there almost every time we go. <laughs> and uh, Pizza Hut. I always get a pizza every day. But that's Ooh. just the things we like in general. Yeah. So leave in a chat, what's your favorite store? Or what's your favorite meal? I am going to use, look at that. Oh yes, look at that fat. That's what I want. Since I don't have my own chicken, I didn't buy any chicken stock or anything. I'm just going to, it's going to be okay. It's going to freestyle it. All right, let's go back to this chicken over here that's been marinating. It might not have been five minutes, but I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. Oops, sorry. If you guys couldn't see. You want me to start the indoor grill? Oh, never mind. I'm just going to turn on my indoor grill on low. Guys, the handling of the camera will get so much better over time. I hope it's not annoying. Because this one is a photo camera. We have to have a um, video camera holder. Thank you for sticking out sticking, sticking out with me. My little first run. <coughs> Excuse me. Cleared my throat in your ear. That was rude. I'm just going to let that cook. I'm going to start turning this around again. Just seeing what the fat looks like now. And we'll be right back. Guys, so now I am getting my trinity together. My holy trinity. 
which is gonna be my celery as you see me unbagging and i kind of already cheated so i already have the trinity here but i wanted to add just a bit more celery so i'm just going to put that that in here once we finish doing this part i will be adding it to the roux that you saw me make earlier i just like a bit more celery and i also accidentally messed up so you're going to have to merge these two videos <laughs> said, yeah sorry we accidentally pressed calls and we didn't need to it'll be fine mm-hmm Alrighty, just gonna have a whole bunch of videos. <laughs> okay, good thing for editing. Now, Mad Examples is gonna get the garlic out of the refrigerator in the vegetable drawer. No shade, but I did not get these from Publix. As you know, Publix is my favorite place to go for vegetables. I'm not going to say where I got them from. <laughs> I don't want no beef on my comments. <laughs> but if you do got beef, we can grill it up too. <laughs> okay, that came from a rapper. And I totally stole that line. <laughs> so it's up to you how you want them chopped up. I, My personality is fun, colorful. So are my chopping. <laughs> Eventually my chopping skills will get better, guys. So I'm just going to add that in here. You saw me drop one on the floor. I'm not going to be using that. I'm going to put it in trash. Trash. Oh, she didn't use all of the celery. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. You're absolutely right. It's our choice to use as much celery as you want. Here we go, you guys. <clears throat> Let's go back over to... The sauteing it is still happening i'm about to make it stop happening in just a moment but it is still happening oh yeah <clears throat> smell the vision coming to you soon you guys will be able to <laughs> smell this greatness over here mm -hmm. it smells really nice it really does i'm so excited about that you guys we're adding in that holy trinity now notice that the holy trinity came with um Corn. I've never really put corn in my gumbo. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Guys, some reason we was press, we thought we pressed record. This may and be the seven videos to merge with. I am. I have my holy trinity that was already pre-done, and the extra bits of celery there that I chopped. Mm -hmm. I usually have Obey to put in there, but I don't have any. And I'm just trying different techniques that I've been seeing. I have Obey seasoning, but the actual crab royal Obey is what I'm in reference to. It's okay. I'm just going to saute this down. It's actually quite interesting using frozen. Let me try to make one really quick. Hey, go for it. Nobody have time to be sitting there chopping up everything either. I completely understand that. Um, this Trinity came with corn. That's my first experience with that. So that's going to be, <clears throat> I don't know. It's going to be different. I'm optimistic and trying different things. I'm just going to remind you that I'm using a medium heat to high, low heat. Kind of high heat, but not all the way high. Medium high, that's the word. So I'm using for my verbiage today make sure you eat that breakfast because i'm still struggling <laughs> it is 2 30 in the afternoon and i have had a pinch of a sandwich right before i started this video and that was not enough protein for my brain so i can talk to you like a person okay moving on i just keep stirring because if you're going to have it up high you better be standing here because you don't want to get this far and it's scorched never want that to happen <laughs> After I'm done sauteing this, then I'll be adding that chocolate pudding in the back. Just kidding. It's the roux that we made earlier, remember? Pop quiz. What did I use for the roux? Put it down in the comments. What do you use for your roux? Let me know. I would love, love, love to try you guys' recipe for 
gumbo. And we'll also give you a shout out for giving these recipes. Yes, you will. Next video. Shout, shout, shout. Shout it out. Okay. I just got weird. <laughs> <laughs> Our chicken is still over there on the indoor grill cooking. And we're still right here. I have transferred the chicken and, and the, the sausage. sausage in this little pot. And we moved it to the big wooden cutting board. Yes, I rinse this and clean it very thoroughly before I start using it for mm -hmm. my trinity here. And once again, you don't want to crock contaminate food items. Hmm. It's getting there. It's a process, guys. Um, it's definitely not a quick little 20-minute thing. And if you know how to do it in 20 minutes, please comment down below your advice on how to do that. <laughs> and we probably have been recording for almost an hour now, so that shows how long it takes to cook the gumbo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that sound. Pick it, pick it, pick it. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back after this message. Hopefully, we won't press stop and just pause, okay? All right, you guys. So, now what I'm going to do at this point is add the roux. Oh, did you see that? So, the fat rendered to the top. That's okay. And we also have tasted the... <laughs> Look at that. That is some good roux right there. I probably could sell that. Look at that. I actually did it. It looks so much like chocolate syrup. It does. And we also have just tasted the meat. It tastes so good. I don't think I ever had any gumbo better than that. And I haven't had gumbo in a long time. Oh, snap. And I'm nervously cooking for all my viewers. Thank you for hanging out with me, guys. Holy cow. That looks amazing. Looks like brownie batter. And that's, that's what I want my roux to look like. Brownie batter. And if you made it all the way through, put hashtag made it through. <laughs> so I just immediately put my roux pot that I had it hold, holding in in the sink really quick because I don't need those problems cleaning up. Clean as you go, guys. Come on. Keep it neat. And that's sometimes why you have to have someone to help you. So you can focus on one task while they work on the other. Oh, don't look at oh, this. Oh, la, la. Mm, yes, c'est la vie. Yum, yum. Yummy, yummy, yummy. We gonna have food in our tongue. <laughs> <laughs> turning it down to a low to medium fire. That sounds good. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm adding my chicken and salsa. Okay, sorry. Okay, which one do you okay. Adding my chicken and my sausage and just stirring that in. And we are almost done with the process. And because I didn't have any um, stock, I'm just going to use water. Yeah, I am. I'm using water. I know. I'm down in the comments, you guys. I'm using water. And not to specifically say which brand is better, but we personally like Deer Park. Yes, I do. Yum, yum, yum. I know, I know. It's so weird. But calm down. It's going to be fine. I'm using water. <laughs> like most of the talking I have seen is probably water it down. <laughs> My goal is to possibly use this entire bottle of water, but um, I might not make it there because as you see my pot is shorter so I tried to make a smaller pot of gumbo and it's almost impossible to do. If you know how to do that, put it down below so I can follow your recipe. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, and here we go. I just added a bit of tomato paste. No brand in particular. I like a little potato. Potato. 
<laughs> oh, tomato. That's what we do. <laughs> tomato phase in mind. That's how I saw it growing up. Everything is different depending on where you from and how you like things and how your um, taste buds are. But uh, I like this dark, deep, rich look. I'm also going to put some bay leaves in here. You don't ever eat the bay leaves. The bay leaves are for the source of seasoning and or decorations. I usually put two in a pot this size. And today I'm going to be fancy and put three. Ooh. The seafood that I have in the background is imitation crab meat. Yeah, imitation crab meat. I know. It's so good, right? Calm down in those comments. <laughs> um, shrimp. The shrimp and crab meat or crab legs or any type of seafood, scallops, whatever you want to put in there, they do tend to cook faster and make them rubbery. So I always put those right before I'm about ready to call it quits with my recipe. I don't have any particular way of doing things. I am random. Mm -hmm. So I randomly do things because that's just how I do it. And what I'm going to do right now is randomly taste this. <laughs> um, we would, since we're going to be doing a lot of video editing today, we was wondering what um, editor we should use once we get, um, say, more followers, more subscribers, and more views. So if you have an idea, so just put it down in the link below. Or we could just have um, Phil Moore because I heard that's the cheapest. Um, Cheapest video ever. Sorry, I'm still trying to think of those names. But right now we're using Old Bay. Purposely adding a bit more Old Bay because I know that the water was going to knock down some of that taste that I needed. And I'm adding more. I purposely over flavored my sausage and chicken as I was sauteing them because I knew that I didn't have any homemade. Um, chicken stock or seafood stock and I completely forgot to grab some when I was at the store so water is okay actually it's very nice you just have to keep in mind that you need to add more seasoning fun fact most of our body is made out of 70 percent water so drink a lot of water and sometimes food-based water help at this point the it is finished uh, I'm gonna let this sit here and marinate for about 20 minutes on a super super low heat flame or fire however you're cooking and i'm going to put the top on it and i'm going to come back and stir it every five minutes i'm going to come back to stir it after that i will be adding the shrimp as you see here and the crab select imitation crab meat yeah it's fine to put it in there calm down oh my gosh you guys are being so naughty just kidding. <laughs> but <laughs> let us know if you've been naughty or nice this year because Christmas is coming up. <laughs> you better watch out. Better not shout. Better not cry. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming. Sit down. He sees me making this without chicken stock. Ooh, he's gonna be the way. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. Chill. <laughs> let us know if you want to see any singing videos about Christmas, though. <laughs> he just put me on the spot. What the what? You see my wagging on my spoon? Are you serious? Just kidding. Okay, we'll be back with the finishing look. What I put mine with, and I've only seen this done once otherwise, is rice. I like jasmine rice, and then I just like regular long grain rice. But I've seen someone put it over baked potato, and it blew my mind. But it was really nice when I tried it because I like to do different things and try different things. I like when people are random just like me. I tried it and it was really good. I'm not doing baked potato today. I am going to do it the traditional way to me, which is rice. Let me know if you tried gumbo over something different. I didn't make any whole cakes or any type of bread to go with this. Oh man, I'm so naughty. But I randomly was standing in the store and said, I'm eating, I'm eating gumbo. I told my husband today. I know it's after Thanksgiving, the day after Thanksgiving, and I'm eating gumbo. He was like, okay, well, make it. And then I'm making it for you guys. First video, and we'll be back after the finished look. I almost forgot, we're still over here on the <laughs> indoor grill cooking these chickens. Ooh, look at that. I love teriyaki. 
and I like how it gives it that glazy look. Depends on which one you use. Come on, just keep Are you kidding me? Couldn't get that off. That's but, the thing about them. You have to not poke it in so far. Look at that. Look at those grill marks. Yum, yum. I'm just grilling that up. Just, it was just extra, so I was just doing that. But yeah, it's nice I see that. Okay, I'll be back with the finish. All right, you guys. So we are going to the final reveal. Like, subscribe. Subscribe? Yeah, that word. Subscribe. <laughs> First one to comment, of course. Going to get that heart from me. And here we go. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> look at this. It looks amazing. I'm so excited about the look and the final outcome and the taste because I didn't have any chicken stock. I didn't have any vegetable stock. I didn't have any homemade seafood stock. I didn't have any stock. As you guys remember from the prior video that I use water. Yes, I use water. I add extra seasoning, Old Bay, Old Bay seasoning. Um, typically, we'll put crab oil in there. The crab oil, to me, is like a game changer. Be careful on it because if people don't like a lot of uh, hot stuff on their palate, then it might be too spiced for them. I love spices, and I love a little heat or medium heat, but I don't like it when you're hurting eating behind the heat. I'm sorry, I got distracted because I was staring at that shrimp that I want to grab so bad and eat. <laughs> I thank you guys for hanging out with me and um, suffering through my first video. I'm just a little giggly girl right now. I'm so excited about this. To me, it looks great. Yeah, I know. I need a bigger pot. I tried to make a small gumbo, but that didn't work out, did it? I do need a bigger pot. Calm down, you guys, in those comments. Thank you for loving on me. Thank you for hanging out with me, suffering through this video with me. Woo! We got through it. Like, subscribe, share, randomly yours, signing off.